All right, how's everyone doing today? My name is Dino Hunter. Welcome to episode six of this Atomic Heart playthrough. In the last episode, we got the or the uh, yeah the cold workshop canister, and now we're going to go get the pesticide one. Actually, let's look up. Doesn't look like there's anything. So let's go down. Encounter. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not dealing with this. Easy. I said I wasn't dealing with this and then I dealt with it, but you know what I mean. What is this? Animal pen. Kinda like to go there. Let's go to it'll be like a petting zoo. That'll be nice. Hey buddy, what's up? Take that guy out. I wish I had more ammo, like that's my... That's what's really limiting me from... Just wrecking face, it's just that I don't have a bunch of ammo. I don't trust that guy. After what we just saw, I am not trusting anybody. Cutting the legs off of everything. <clears throat> oh, there's so many of them. Man, that's crazy. Terminator 2 looking dude. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, select it. I hate when they get me cornered. I think that's my biggest complaint with the game is just how easy it is to get stuck on stuff on the train. For instance, right now. Then the healing being down on the deep pad is just so weird. It's not fair. Wow. You don't say. Finally. <sighs> Jeez, that was close. That was really close. What did he say you don't say? What is he talking about? Okay. Just robots everywhere. This probably could have been a stealth section, but I was not ready for it. Can I, like, hurt that guy's body? No, I can't. What does this say? Kill him. Is that talking about me? I'm just gonna cut the legs off of everybody because I feel like that's a little less <laughs> of a crime. I thought I saw a robot in here. So just lead, yeah. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's that guy. Oh, I'm running. Getting out of here. The combat's really good. It's just... I'm not the biggest fan of melee combat in general. Ugh, these guys have so much health. Heal, my boy. Oh, did I get him? Okay. Please give me bullets. He did not. Those guys are significantly tougher than the dudes wearing the white shirts. I think if I cut a leg off, they can't come back. Alright, let's do this. Easy. First try. Now through the door. I'm supposed to go that way, which Did means my video can watch this. Everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it. There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. 
but we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. He's right. What's this say? The pesticide workshop is where crucial research into crop protection is conducted. Just gonna double back. Cutting off legs. Or cutting them in half, that works too. We've probably already been this way. I would imagine, but the point of video games is to explore, right? Okay, let's get past this. Can't open that door. Okay, that's done. Oh no, I think I triggered the alarm. Uh, uh, oh, this is, I know where we are. We did just double around. <laughs> nice. So we really didn't need to come this way. Does that body we talked to when we ran in here? I wonder if headshots do extra damage or not. Did I take him out already? Cool. Uh, nope. Not dealing with this. Not dealing with this. I don't know if I can actually outrun him. But we're gonna try. It's a bad idea to go back. It's a bad idea to explore. Oh, maybe he doesn't follow you very far. He does. He does. It was especially entertaining. I don't hear him behind me, so I'm hoping he's not there. We're going to get into a boss fight here or something, and I'm just going to have no way to... <gasps> Wake up. I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. Oh, I thought he said the Pope. He said the, the pump. You need to find that polymer container right now. Yeah, right. A container. Uh, could you at least tell me what it looks like? Yeah, that's it's a good. A yellow kind of uh, kind of cylinder. Find that yellow cylinder, or we're screwed. Okay, we'll do. Could you tell me what we're up against at least, though? Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard. Can we buy more ammo? Authorization. Major. I wonder how much ammo is. Um. It's actually really expensive now that I think about it. Let's actually look at the guns and stuff we can craft. Is this all the guns in the game? Okay. I like fat boy instead of fat man because they can copy Fallout. I'm guessing that's where it is. Let's see here. What is this? I don't know. All I know is that this is probably going to be tense. What does that do? Okay, okay. Get open this quick, bud. I want to open this. One of four. Number one, April sixteenth. The mutations. Down, Schnitzel. Bad dog. Uh, where was I? The mutations caused by the polymer are progressing. 
After a month of observing CP388, codename Hemlock, I've observed some unusual behavior. The plant nourishes itself by endocytosis and has developed a way to identify where it's receiving its nutrient mixture from and extends its stems in the corresponding direction. Ah, honey, what's for dinner? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed. Okay, are you yelling at me through the wall? I since we saw the uh, what are they called like sprouts? It's very, very possible that we are going to be attacked by the zombie things again. Sorry, bud, but What's that music for? Yep, what did I say? What did I say? Yeah, they're coming out of this thing, it looks like. Yeah. Punk? We should talk to this dead body over here. But... Can we stealth kill those things? I don't actually know. Let's talk to the body. Hey, bud. Please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. In Sorry, you? I, what? I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless corpse. My body could become soil for plants. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. It's a little crazy, man. This is crazy. We put a lot of effort into these new plant species. This will be my way of saying goodbye to them. I won't hold it against you if you refuse, but... Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll probably, probably cremate, cremate you. you. There are way too many dead bodies around here. Cremate me? I never thought of that. What a waste. I could have brought new life into the world. I you know, I actually help would help you with that. that if I could. Okay. Try to stay alive. This Why are you flinching so much? It's like a bad trip. Do you mean like an acid trip? Okay, let's try to sneak up on him. As long as he doesn't turn around, we should be good. I do have me a feeling, though, he is going to turn around. Yep. So as long as we stay out of his cone of vision, I say as he looks directly at me. He jumped out of the way! Destroying these bodies is a great idea. I was starting to think maybe it's not a good idea. I'm realizing now it is. Oh, maybe we should kill these things. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Looks like some parkour to get up there. There's something up there, though. To call this parkour is maybe going a little far, but oh, there's an audio lock. Second one. Log number two, April nineteenth. I've been studying oh, okay. the Hemlock particles under a microscope. And that's all. I've noticed that the slime mold genes have become dominant. Endocytosis has been oh, sh shoot. Reduced. This, well, <clears throat> it explains how the plant feeds itself. By grabbing food with its stems, for example. Just a second. What? What are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it! Bad dog. Anyway. Uh, later. <clears throat> Alright, cut that guy. That's a robot. There's at least two of them. Two of the zombie dudes. This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's <laughs> nothing else here. Whatever. 
We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. <sighs> I'm not a fan of these zombie guys. They kind of suck. <laughs> Trying to create as zero or as few of them as possible. Preferably zero. Oh, this is that door. I guess we should just unlock it now. Oops. It's hard to anticipate where it's going. Okay. But you kind of have to do that to get this. They're objectively not very tough puzzles. <laughs> but I... They're not puzzles at all, they're just little mini-games, but... It can be a little tricky if you're not paying attention. PM ammo? I don't know what the PM is. I don't think we have that. Because this is a macro, right? It's not even a PM. <laughs> what? Why can I interact with that? Oh no, I accidentally hit. <laughs> I accidentally hit B when I was uh, trying to dash jump. <laughs> so I just closed that hint right away. Can I pick this thing up? I uh, don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that moves it. Level decreased. Now at 10%. Hey, Charles. This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Yeah, that doesn't sound good, man. Where'd the second one go? Thought I saw a second one of those guys. Oh, maybe he already attacked us. I hear screaming. And generally, I hate to generalize, but generally, screaming is not a good thing. Okay. What are these carts for? Oh, I don't like that sound. So I have to move this one here. Right? Do I have a way to slow it? Or do I just have to move the thing? Oh, I must didn't make that. Um. Oh, it's a magnet. Maybe it'll pick up this train thing. I just move it over it. Right. No, okay. But maybe if I run, maybe I can jump on top of that now. Yes. I'm figuring this out. Okay. No! Maybe I'm moving forward then? Yeah, so that way I can get past that thing. Okay, then I do this. Swap tracks here. Have it go forward. Pesticide level decreased. Now at 8%. Damn it. Okay, I really am in a race against time here. Actually, no, before I do that, I should loot over here. I saw this. Is this a corpse I can talk to? Yeah. I don't think we need to talk to every corpse, but I kind of like it. Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. You won't find us here. We should be safe. The lights went out. I guess I say that. I hate to disappoint you, but 
A mutant got you. So they did kill me. I thought they did. How very sad. Only when I died, did I realize I had never taken life too seriously. You never miss the water till the well runs dry. Such is life. How symbolic. I should have plundered this earlier. <laughs> yeah, you definitely uh, should have there, bud. But it's too late hey, now. Charles, if I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... Yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's only one way to find out. Uh... I think I'll pass. Thanks. Can I push that one? Level decreased. Yes. Now at 6%. We need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying! He says crispy critters a lot. And I don't think I've ever heard that before playing this game. Guess that one, right? Jump up here. I hope I can unlock a double jump or something, because that would help greatly. Move there. Is that what it told me the first time? Okay, I'm here. Now I jump up here. And there we go. Stop that. Go forward. Yes. Can you not? Oh, I can't. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? <laughs> He's probably dead, man. I think you know that just as well as I do. How did he stay alive? It's been several days, right? Oh, I can't jump up here. And up we go. Jump this around. Full send it. I think that's as much as we can do here. So I'm going to move forward. Level decreased. Now at 2%. Okay, I We're get it. Going to die. Okay with me. You first. I don't think it's okay with you, bud. Shit, that thing is huge. Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. Why is that corpse moving? He just lost the right to. What the fuck is taking you? Where the corpse? <gasps> oh, I see the guy in the distance. Bag. That's it. Smoke break. No, this is not the time for a smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that! That won't kill it! You were supposed to blow it up! Damn it! What do we do now? It's awake! Mm -hmm. We gotta ignite the polymer! Give me your cigarette! You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah! Die, you prick! Oh wow, he actually did it! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in rage! We gotta run before it- Hang on! <laughs> oh no! Oh, do we have to fight this thing? God damn it. Hang on there, buddy. Oh, fuck. My leg. You okay, buddy? Yeah. Oh, he got some buddy, too. Shit, sprouts, get the fuck up. My leg is stuck. Shoot it already. There's too many of them. Hurry. I'm trying. If they get to us, we're dead. Have you thought about aiming better? They're almost here. Get up, get up. I'm trying, I'm trying. Fuck. No, no help If you me. help. Get it up. No, not our buddy. No, oh, there's so many of them. Oh shit! It's a fucking canister. Well, it's something. Not our friend. He's mutated. No shit, Sherlock. Crap! 
crispy crap. Oh, this is Get horrifying. Oh. Holy shit, oh. that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific. <laughs> okay. It is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh huh. Just like me and Petrov. Thought I saw something over here. I think we got a ton of shotgun shells. Save the game. Then let's dip out of here. I think we can go to the outside world now. I think. I'm not actually 100% sure. Let's upgrade station. See if there's anything up here. Nope. This is a classic number, too. Um, let's just run. Yep. Just, uh, running. Never mind. Oh, I'm stuck. Who's that? Is it Petrov? Oh no! <laughs> I'm just gonna stay up here? Uh, no, I'm not. Ow, you don't get like three hits. Actually, he does. I should stop. This is the end. This is where our story ends. This is where our story ends, because I'm stuck! <sighs> See the little animation? Oh, that's terrifying. All the way back here. Okay, I'm gonna avoid him. Actually, I should take him out. Yeah, before he does something like that. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> Okay, I have a plan here. We're going to take him out from afar, as many as we can, so that way they don't corner us. It's like this guy. Oh, where the there it is. Oh, you made another one. I thought I chopped all the bodies up. Oh. This second dodge was probably the best purchase we could have made. Just because it just saved me there. And it has several times so far. Okay, take him out. I am so nervous. Hey, you. Get out of here. This thing is... Okay, that's what produces them, yes. Alright. Oh, when I died, it made them all grow their legs back. Let's get as many of them over here as we can. Yeah, that's right. How do you guys like that? Oh, I took out the fire one, too. Thought I heard one beside me. Oh, no. Oh, I'm out of power. I hear stuff all around me. Taken out. I don't think I'll use this pistol for too much longer because it does not do a lot of damage. Oh, 
Okay, as soon as I walk in here, it's gonna close the door on us. So I gotta be ready. Okay. Should, maybe I should save first. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Do the coward thing. I have successfully saved the game. So we are more prepared for this. Okay. No time like the present. Look that guy's laying on. Ooh, let's take that guy out from afar, too. On fire, guys. It, it is not that easy. No way it's that easy. I was like... Three shots. Babe, I take it back. This pistol is actually beast. It really is. Let's check behind me. It's like a corner this time. That was so easy. What's that smell? Easy now. Okay, taken out. Two for one. Nice combo there. I killed him in like three shells. That was so easy. I guess that he has a weak spot and I just have to hit that. Okay. Onwards we go. So just running? That's my idea? Because I think all these bodies are going to come back now. Because I died. I don't trust you, bud. Can we go in here and save? Okay. Imagine if we had, like, these on our tail, these zombie dudes, and we still had to unlock this. Oh, that guy's there. Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you got to run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain oh. in the ass. Yeah, no kidding. Let's get out of here. And never come back. Should go without saying. I'm just running past this camera. Not gonna let it spawn robots in. Oh, it's gonna spawn them in anyway, but let's just go. Let's get out of here. Is there gonna be another boss battle or something in here? Oh, there's lots of corpses. I should destroy them, but I am just going to put the cartridges in. Canisters, that's their name. Pesticide polymer canister connected. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Who's next? Attention all co-workers. Please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. Sounds good to me. Don't see me complaining about that. Cryopolymer canister connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. But why a birch tree? Or birch tree vegetative power generator is now fully operational. Power supply restored. Just look around here. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking These potatoes? Finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. <laughs> We're gonna walk out there and immediately be ambushed by something. We did it, comrade major. Stole yes, we did. Glove, I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. <laughs> I am fine. 
Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, let's leave. Yeah, I don't. Sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. I think we got just about everything we can here. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under An achievement. Circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, that is weird. Shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, hmm. okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. Yeah, it really is. Is that elevator music I hear? Ho oh, ho, about time a game puts elevator music in. You know what game had the best elevator music, though? It was Lego Star Wars 3. Because you'd be having an awesome battle, you'd get in the elevator, and there's just like Star Wars themed elevator music. It was awesome. So I guess we wait then? Okay, here we are. We are here. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Okay. Fading data. Oh, we get to go in the outside world finally. We're not going to be in some dank dungeon. Awesome. Okay, we got to read that. And we got to explore the outside world. But I'm actually going to end this episode right here. In the next episode, we are going to get a breath of fresh air and find an exit from the village. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.